Welcome back. We have our birthday object displaying to the screen. And so now let's shift to talking about our second concept, which is an event handler. And let's build that welcome screen and add a button that will be an event handler that, that gets us to this point. So to add another screen, we go to the design and we have screen one. So we uh, get a new screen and let's call this guy over here in the ID. We'll call this our welcome screen. And it is simply, let's make sure we spell it correctly. So welcome screen. And it is simply a label and a button. And let's make the label nice and big. And we can call this, we will call this the welcome label. Give it a meaningful name. And let's just put the text as crew birthdays, the name of the app. And the the long, the widest we can really make our label is 320. That takes us from edge to edge. So let's make it 300 so we have a little bit on each side. And then if we have 300, the screen is 320 wide. So that would allow us to have 10 pixels of border on each side. So we'd start the X position at 10. The label's 300 wide. So then we'd also have 10 pixels on the right margin. And let's make it much bigger. So the font size, let's make it 30. And let's center it by using the text alignment center property. And of course, we're going to have to make it a little bit higher. Let's give it a height of 40 so that we can see the whole thing. And there we go, crew birthdays. And this button, let's change the text of this to go. And just to make it easy then to remember what it's called, Let's change the ID to go underscore button so then we don't get confused. And, and instead of using this default color, let's give it a color that we pick. And I like this green color. I like dark green for this button. Or eh, let's go kick, stick with what we started with. Let's go with a dark blue, maybe a little bit lighter. Beautiful. And we should also center this button. So we know the screen is 320 wide. This button is 100 pixels wide, so 320 pixels minus 100 pixels, that's 220 pixels. So that would be 110 pixels on each side. So if we started at X position 110, and then it's 100 width, so that would take us to 210, and then we'd have another 110 pixels on the right for the margin. That looks good that it's precisely centered. And let's uh, let's fix the screen. Let's give the screen a background. So. Here we can see all the elements on our screen. We can see the name of the screen, the welcome label, the go button. So let's go to the screen properties. So these properties, it just has four. And let's change the background color. And let's make this one a kind of a green, not quite that dark, but maybe a little lighter, something like this. So we've got our welcome screen. And I think maybe this text looks a little bit better if it's white. We could click on the text to get to the text properties, or we could hit this drop down and we could get the welcome label properties. And then we can go down to the text color and we can make this white. And I just know from doing this that white is six Fs. Pound one, two, three, four, five, six Fs makes it white. And there we go. So I, I, I like that. So there's our crew birthday welcome screen. And remember, this is the go button. So now let's go over to the code and wire this up so we, that we can use this go button. So we've got the button. Now we will turn it into an event handler with this on event block. And we'll drag this into our workspace. And on event, we want to put the ID of that button. And that is go underscore button. And so when we click that go button, that's when we want it to set the text of the labels on our other screen. And we will indent that to make it clear that that is inside the on event. And notice I had to call it the other screen because I don't remember what it's called, but it was just screen one. Let's give that a meaningful name too. So I go to screen one and to the design tab. And now I'm at the screen property. So let's change the ID of this screen to give it a descriptive name so we know what it is because this is where we're going to put our birthdays. Let's call it the birthday screen. And so that makes it a lot easier for us to code things up if it has a meaningful name. 
And let's give it the same exact background color as our welcome screen, just so we have consistent look and feel throughout our app. And so this background color is pound 40 E472. So we can just go to the birthday screen and then just make this pound 40 E472. I think that's what it was. Looks good. And let's check the welcome screen. 40E472, there we go. So now it has that consistent look and feel. And then the, finally, we should make that text the same on the birthday screen. We should make these text labels the same, and that's easy. That's all white, so it's just pound and six Fs. And that is for that text, and then let's go for the birthday text. Same thing, pound, and then six Fs. Okay, so we've got that coded up, and the whole point of coming over here is we were trying to remember what this screen was called. It's now called the birthday screen. So when we click the go button from the welcome screen, when we click this go button, the first thing we want it to do is switch screens. And we do that with the set screen command and we give it the name of the screen we want to go to. And our code completion helps us out and we'll just hit enter and get the birthday screen. Make sure to put a semicolon at the end. And so now this event handler is wired up. When we click the thing with the ID of go button, it will set screen to the birthday screen and it will set the text of name one to our crubies one dot name and it'll set the text of birthday one to crubies one dot birthday and just for a little quiz, which one is that going to be? Is that going to be Julian, Esther, or Manuela? Remember, it's in the crubies array at position one, so it should be Esther. Let's take a look. Ah, we forgot to do one thing. When we run the app, we start on the birthday screen. We don't want that. We want to start on the welcome screen. So we do this. We go to the welcome screen and we make it the default. Now notice on the birthday screen, we could make this default we don't want to. On the welcome screen, there is no make default button because it is the default. So when we hit run, it's going to start on our welcome screen. So that's a handy little tip. And let's go back so we can see the code and hit our event handler. And it shows us what's in position one of the array. And it shows us Esther's name and birthday. So we have just wired up an event handler. So we've got our object. We've got our event handler. Next, let's come back and wire up a for loop.